Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Project title Minimizing Radio Resource Usage for Mission-to-Mission -mission Communications through Data-Centric Clustering Let's see the abstract Since the radio resource available for M2M communications is typically limited yet the amount of data to transport is large such resource agnostic and data agnostic clustering techniques could lead to the suboptimal performance. To address this problem, we propose data centric clustering in a resource constrained mission to mission network by prioritizing the quality of overall data over the performance of individual machines. We first formulate an optimization problem. To minimize the amount of radio resource needed for supporting two tier cluster of the communications. We then partition the formulated problem into inner power control and the outer cluster formation sub problems and propose the algorithms for solving the problems. While power control can be optimally solved for any given cluster structure by the proposed algorithm. Structure formation is an empty hot problem. It has been envisaged that a huge amount of machines will be installed and interconnected in the future form that will be the better living experience for human beings. Different from the conventional wireless sensor network, in many of these mission-to-mission -mission applications, machines are necessarily limited in the form factor, processing capability, and energy supply as most as sensors. To effectively support the long range logic scale mission to mission communication, therefore, several standardization bodies for next generation communication systems have actively investigated the mechanism for mission type communication. Now, we are going to see the flow diagram. First, the network formation is processed, that is, we have to deploy the number of nodes and the base station in the required position. Then, the node uh, are formed as the clusters. The group of nodes are uh, performing the clustering mechanism. After that, the cluster head is choose for each and every cluster in the network. Then, to check the resources are available or not. By using the neighbor examination technique, the resources are gathered. If the resource is available means it allocates the resources that is channels are allocated and then it performs the transmission process. If any resources is not available means it again performs the resource available checking process until a defined resource is gathered. After the transmission we have to calculate the performance of the network with the matrices like the throughput, etc., which is compared with the existing system. Let's see the output running procedure. First, open the terminal window. Then go to the directory where we have the code to run the file in this space. File name dot is this the command for run the file. Here, the two nodes are created in the network. Uh, the one variable or the cluster head which is randomly choose in the network. Since the nodes are randomly deployed in the network area, the cluster head are not um, choose at some time. In that case, we have to run the code repeatedly. This is the network animator window. Here only we see the output of our simulation. These are all the nodes that created in the network area. Now we are going to run the simulation. These two are the base station that is created in the network. The simulation timer is running here. We can speed up the simulation process by moving this uh, icon. Now the clusters are created in the network. 
for each and every cluster the cluster has been created also now in this area four clusters are created and for each cluster cluster has been created now the cluster head starts communication with the base station so first a cluster member communicate to the cluster head and then from the cluster head the packet is transferred to the base station so this one to one communication are considered as the mission to mission communication each and every node in the network are considered as the mission and it performs the communication process by packet transmission the data which we send are all considered as the packet in our transmission process to see the performance results tap to the terminal window and type gmu plot graph one dot dot so this is the delay graph that is n to one delay the number of nodes are varied and the n to one delay is calculated the existing system have higher delay which is represented in red color but uh, in our proposed system by minimizing the radio resources we have less delay that is we achieve the better performance than the existing system that's all the demo is completed now thank you for watching this video